Today we're running Instagram story ads because these types of ads are still one of the best ways to get more sales, get more leads, and increase your brand awareness overall. And you're gonna wanna pay close attention to this one particularly because chances are that things have changed since the last time that you ran Instagram story ads. Hey, it's Jaime. If we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. All right, so let's jump right into Instagram story ads without skipping a beat. What's very important about this particular type of placement and this particular type of ad altogether is that you absolutely want to include this within your marketing strategy. Now, what's very important, and you're gonna see once we get to the ad sets, what I'm talking about, that we independently split test these Instagram story ads by themselves because we wanna see their effectiveness. And what you're often gonna find is that these Instagram story ads are gonna outperform your Facebook stories. And in some cases, they're gonna outperform your news feeds. So make sure that you're split testing these along the way. So let's get started. Where we're at at the moment is business.facebook.com slash ads manager. So I'll repeat that again business.facebook.com slash ads manager to get here exactly where you need to be. If you're boosting, know that that's not gonna work and also you're not gonna have access to the Instagram stories altogether. So just make sure that this is what we're doing. So we're gonna go to create and for our purposes today, we're actually gonna run a traffic campaign. A traffic campaign is one of the most versatile ways that you can launch a campaign. It's one of the most flexible ones that you can select. So when it comes to campaign objective, what you're telling Facebook is, this is the outcome that I'm trying to obtain. So you see here from the, the awareness side, this is more of a reach. This, you're trying to reach the masses. You're trying to make people aware. From the consideration, you are walking people down through the funnel and in consideration you are putting things out there that are going to elicit a response so either leads or product sales or something that is meaningful to you so with this particular campaign that we're running it's a traffic campaign and over here on the conversion it's where you're going for the sell and optimizing for the sell so all of these videos all of these campaign objectives have a video that will show you how to do everything right so but for our purposes today we're going to go with traffic but understand that you can use basically any one of these with the exception of possibly messages and another one through here that you can use any type of campaign objective in order to run a story ad. And I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like. When it comes to naming convention, just make sure that you're aware of what you're running within this campaign. So as long as you can identify it, I'll absolutely allow it. Just make sure that you name it something that you can't identify in the future because you may be marketing one campaign today, but that doesn't mean that in a year from now, you're gonna remember what you ran. So make sure that you do that. Today, we're not gonna worry about the special ad category, but just remember if you're running credit, employment, housing, and election um, election ads or any social issues, anything that has to do with politics, you have to select the special ad category. So credit, employment, and housing, anything that's remotely close to these categories, you have to select or your ad is not gonna get approved. But for our purposes today, we, this is one of those rare cases that in this channel, we're not going to select that. The rest of it's going to stay as is. We're not going to worry about that. And also the campaign budget optimization. This means that if I toggle this on, I get to select the budget from here, but I'm not going to do that. I would much rather select the budget from the ad set. So the ad set is who you're targeting, who you're targeting as the person, who you're targeting geographically, and where you are targeting based off of the placement. So on Facebook, Instagram, partner websites, and you're gonna see what that looks like. So at the ad set, this is what we're doing, is who we're targeting. So we're gonna leave the ad set name there. We're not gonna worry about that. We're driving the traffic to a website of our choosing. We're not gonna worry about dynamic creative or an offer at this moment. What we're trying to do is get to the stories ad and give you the most effective way to run these types of campaigns. So with the, the budget, this is where you can select it here. Now, if you wanted to select certain times of the day that you wanted to launch your ad. So let's just say you only wanted the ads to run from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday for whatever reason, then you're gonna have to switch to the lifetime budget. And then you're gonna go to edit right here, run ads on a schedule, and then you get to block out when you want the ads to run. So as, as you saw what I just did there, I flipped this on from daily to lifetime. As you can see, whenever I go back to daily, I lose that option. So make sure that you're aware that in order for you to la launch ads within a certain time frame, whenever you want, it has to be a lifetime budget. And that's when you get the option. A lot of people are not aware that that's a thing. 
but it is. So just make sure that you that you know that now. I'm not gonna worry about an end date for us. And then the audience, so this goes back to the targeting that I was talking about. At the ad set level, you're selecting the location. So this is what we're about to do. You're selecting the person that you're re trying to reach, so your avatar, and then you're also selecting the placement where you want these ads to show. For our purposes, these are Instagram story ads. That's the topic of the video. That's the topic of our discussion today. So that's where we're going. So for what we're gonna do today, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, let's say, t uh, let's just go to Dallas. I don't really know what we're gonna sell in Dallas, but we're gonna do that. Let's just say Dallas, all right? And we're gonna target everybody. We're, we have something that's so universal for everyone to buy, so we're gonna let everybody buy it. We're gonna let every gender get it. And then we're gonna let anybody that, anybody, we're not gonna worry about demographics, we're not gonna worry about interest or behaviors, we're just gonna market to the masses. I don't know what we're selling, but just, just humor me. <laughs> All right, so this is the important part right here. This is what's gonna actually make these story ads be story ads within, um, within Instagram. So instead of selecting the automatic placements, we're gonna go to manual placements, and this is gonna open up the platforms that your ads are gonna run. So remember, we just went through the where we want them to, where we want our ads to run. Hey, one quick second. I know that you're enjoying this Instagram Stories tutorial, but I need one huge favor from you. If you wouldn't mind going down to the bottom of this video and smashing like, that's gonna help out a ton. Thanks. Where we want our ads to run, geographically, so location based who we want to target, so we could have selected age, we could have selected gender, we could have selected demographics and interests and behaviors, but we didn't, but we could have. So then here we're selecting what platforms we want our ads to run in. So I'm gonna unselect Facebook, and I'm only gonna leave Instagram, and you're gonna see that there's three locations within Instagram, and very soon there will be more. So the latest addition to the Instagram placement has been Instagram Explore. The first one was Instagram Feed, and then Instagram Stories was introduced. So at this point, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna lock in the Instagram stories. We only want Instagram stories. So here's the important part. Now you've locked into Instagram stories and that's your placement, that's what you're going to run. But here's the thing. We recommend full screen vertical nine by 16 images or videos. This style formatting and layout of uh, creative, creative may be adjusted automatically by optimizing full set, blah, blah, blah. So here's the thing. Here's exactly how the ad is gonna look, right? So it just depends on what it is. Now, it's super incredibly important that you follow these guidelines, that you follow the vertical guidelines because if you do the horizontal that fits more in line with the newsfeed or the feed altogether, as you can see here, this is more horizontal and you see the four by five ratio here and then you see over here the same thing, four by five ratio or the square if you're doing carousel it's not gonna look pretty when you go to Instagram stories. In fact, it's gonna show your image in the middle and then it's gonna have like a, a just kind of like a blurred out part up here and then a blurred out part down here. So it's gonna look like not good. It's gonna look like crap. <laughs> so what we're trying to do is avoid that altogether. So I'll show you one awesome website, actually several awesome websites that are gonna help you with that regard here in a couple of seconds. And so I'm gonna go to next. And then of course we're gonna name that. And then you can, in, at this point, since we're only selecting Instagram, then um, we don't have to worry about the Facebook page. Technically, you can run Instagram ads only with your Facebook page. Let me repeat that. You can run Instagram ads from your Facebook page without having an Instagram account. Technically, you can do that. Are you gonna get the best results? Heck no. So make sure that you do link up your ad account I'm not gonna do that on this demo account because um, I'm just not. So with this Instagram account, you can select the Instagram account that you are advertising from. So I highly encourage you to do that instead of running your ads from the Facebook page. Again, technically you could do it only from Facebook, advertise on Instagram, but I would much rather see you advertise directly from Instagram. So it, you're gonna have better results and you're also increasing your Instagram followers. followers. All right, so with that being said, here's the important part. Here's the absolutely important part. So let me just fill in this website URL because I didn't prepare one, so I'll just go to my website. So that way we have a little demo of what we're looking at. So you see here, I haven't included anything. So what you're gonna wanna do is 
regardless of if you have amazing Photoshop skills, then use them. If you have amazing editorial skills or editing skills, please use them. But a lot of us don't, myself included. So what's really helped me out a ton has been Canva. This is a free website. This is something that you can go on here, get one of these templates and get an image from here that's gonna work for your ad. So if you think that this is gonna be in line with what you're selling, let's just say you're selling um, security services, you're, what is this, new tech industry players to create 10,000 jobs. If you're talking about really great site, whatever it happens to be, <laughs> a newspaper or a virtual office, whatever it is, then you can start working with this and just play around with it, type in whatever you want. If you don't like that, then you can come over here, something a little bit more professional but how you do this is very, very easy. All you have to do is go to canva.com. I'll discard changes. I'll go over here as soon as we get the uh, little bar. So I'm gonna go to Instagram. You see Instagram story ad. We're gonna click on that. And then it gives you templates to choose from. So this is awesome. This gives you different templates to choose from, which is perfect for what you need. So I'm gonna discard the changes. So this is if you need a image now if you need a video i've not found a better website than invideo.io and everything's gonna be linked down below all of these have actually most of these i can't i don't remember if all of them but most of these do have a discount link down below so if you end up going with a professional version of canva there's gonna you can absolutely do that through the link below if you decide to pay for invideo as well you'll always you'll always have um you'll always have that option now, when it comes to the, um, when it comes to, are these free? Canva is free, and in video, if you do a few videos, those are free, but then you have to level up. So make sure that you're, when you're using in video, if you sign up for it, then create the ads that you're actually gonna run with because you have a limit per month that you're able to use for free. If you wanna level up and purchase it, by all means. But the reason that I like this particular, this particular, um, video maker because it has everything for me so check this out all i have to do is just go use this template and i can replace that i can replace the video i can replace the logo and it has an engaging i mean that's like if i was selling sushi if i was at a restaurant you might want to use that one all together <laughs> so you see a lot of templates here that are going to work that are engaging for your let's just see over here female staff nurse so whatever you're doing and whether this is a perfect way for you to just take some videos that are pretty well produced and you just plug them into your website or into your ad and you're off and running so all you would have to do is create your template either through an image or through the video download it upload it right here and then put the ad text here and then a headline right here and you're gonna see the ad text show up here and then when they go to click learn more they're gonna to go to your website then you hit publish and you're launching some Instagram story ads folks I really want you to make this a purpose uh, I want you to really be purposeful sorry I want you to be purposeful in running these Instagram story ads because in many cases these actually outperform other types of placements. These outperform the Facebook stories. These outperform newsfeed in many cases. So make sure that you add this to your arsenal and you're split testing them individually. Well, now you know how to launch Instagram story ads the right way, it's time to launch another Instagram ad. So I'll leave a video right here that's gonna help you do that. Also, if you found value today, please be sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you don't miss another video. And of course, make your best day yet.